Hello, boys and girls. Today I'm going to read you a story about bugs, creepy, crawly critters. Spiders and flies. Spiders spin webs using sticky threads. They make it, they make in their body. They weave their webs to catch flies. Do you see the spider spinning her, flat, her web? Phew, this is hard work. All spiders have eight legs, and this one has eight eyes also. Do you see them? Two, four, six, eight. Flies and other insects are trapped by sticky threads in the web. Don't land there. Too late, I'm stuck. Spider can feel the web tremble. <gasps> she wraps the fly up in thread so he can't escape. I'll eat you later. I'm off. Slugs and snails like to live where it's damp and cool. Slugs can use their slime to help them get down from high places. My slime is like a stretchy rope. It's a long way down. This is a slug. Slugs like snails make slippery slime to help them glide along. Who has made this shiny trail? Slugs eat vegetables. I'm from gardens and fields. This makes gardeners and farmers very angry. I'm glad the farmer isn't here. The slug thinks. This is a snail. Snails love to munch on leaves. They scrape off pieces of leaves with their rough, raspy tongues. In hot weather, snails stay in their shells to stop them from drying out. Where's my mommy? Where's my mommy? Boop, here I am. They come out again when the weather cools down. Caterpillars and butterflies. Caterpillars are baby butterflies. They look very different from grown-up butterflies. They change shape and color as they grow. The little caterpillar has just crawled out of a tiny green egg. I'm so hungry. First the caterpillar eats the egg. Then it starts to munch on leaves. Munch, munch, munch. It eats in the spring. It eats in the summer. I'm still hungry. The more the caterpillar eats, the bigger it grows. When the caterpillar is fully grown, it stops eating and takes a long, long rest. Now I'm full. It looks pretty full. It makes a case around itself and starts to turn into a butterfly. This is a chrysalis. When spring comes again, it breaks out of the case. Yippee! I'm free! The butterfly stretches its wings and flies away. Bees and wasps. Bees and wasps flap their wings very quickly when they fly. This makes a buzzing sound. This is a bumblebee. Its body is big and furry. The bee is drinking nectar, a sweet food made by flowers. Mmm. Phew. I'm glad bees don't eat maggots. That's right. Wasps love to eat very ripe fruit, which is which of these plums will the wasp like most? Hmm. 
Yummy, 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 says the wasp. Wasps look different from bees. They aren't as furry and have brighter stripes. Ouch! They use their sharp tails to sting. Caterpillar was hurt. Oh my goodness. Ants live together in big groups called colonies. They work in teams to find food. These ants are going out to look for food. This is the desert sea pod. They are tasty seeds inside. I've got a seed. The ant has cracked open the pod with his strong jaws. Look at how strong those are. Ants are strong. They can carry seeds that are as heavy as they are. This seed is much too heavy. Here come some more ants to help carry the seed. Isn't they nice they help their friends? Ladybugs. It's good to have ladybugs in your garden because they eat aphids. Aphids suck the juice from flowers and make them dry up. A ladybug can eat over 50 aphids in one day. What a juicy rosebud. <sighs> Run, says the aphid. Run. A la when a ladybug flies, she lifts her wing cases and takes off. I'm flying. This ladybug has laid her eggs on the underside of a leaf. In a few days, the babies will hatch out. Different types of ladybugs have different, a different number of spots on their bodies. I've got spot, lots of spots. Where are your spots? I don't have any at all. Fireflies. Fireflies aren't really flies at all. They are a kind of beetle. When evening comes, you can see their bodies glow in the dark. Daddy fireflies flash their lights on and off to make the mommy look at them. Where are you? I'm over here. The mommy flashes back. Crickets. Here's a hungry cricket. She eats lots of things, but she doesn't eat fireflies. The firefly's light warns her that he will taste bad. I don't eat flashy food, says the cricket. Chirp, 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 chirp. Who's making that chirping sound? <gasps> chirp, 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 chirp. This cricket is rubbing his wings together to make a sound. The noise lets other crickets know where he is. Me, I'm here. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the bug book and you learned interesting information. Maybe you can capture one in your bug jar. Have fun.